In the beginning, your person was running away from you. It was as if they were trying to escape from something, perhaps from the reality of their feelings or the intensity of the connection they shared with you. But now, the tables have turned. It appears that they are rushing back towards you, propelled by an unseen force. This change in their behavior might seem sudden, but it's not without reason. Unbeknownst to you, you had triggered your person to confront their inner demons and addiction. It was as if a mirror was held up to them, reflecting the unhealed and toxic aspects of their life that they had been avoiding. You didn't do this intentionally, it was a byproduct of your interactions with them. But this confrontation was necessary. It pushed them to acknowledge their wounds and start the healing process. You made a significant change in your approach towards them. You stopped giving them your time, energy, or attention. This decision wasn't easy, but it was necessary for your own well-being. You realized the importance of self-love and made a commitment to prioritize yourself. This shift in your behavior left them completely shocked. They were used to your constant attention and care, and suddenly, they found themselves devoid of it. This change in your behavior frustrated them. They missed the love and attention you used to give them. They craved it, yearned for it. It was a void in their life that they didn't know how to fill. They were used to being the center of your world, and now they found themselves on the periphery. Despite their frustration, they realized something crucial. It was only you who could handle them and their energy so well. They felt a unique connection with you, a bond that they didn't share with anyone else. They felt like there was no one else on this entire planet who would ever love them as much as you did. This realization was both comforting and terrifying for them. Your person may be going through a difficult time. They may be having nightmares or even receiving signs about the need to free themselves from a stagnant situation. These signs could be subtle or glaringly obvious, but they all point towards the same direction, the need for change. During this tumultuous period, you are the only source of comfort for them. Your presence, your words, your actions, they all bring them a sense of peace and calm. You are their anchor in the storm, their beacon in the darkness. Despite the distance between you, despite the changes in your relationship, you continue to be a source of comfort for them during their awakening period. Your relationship with your person has gone through several ups and downs. There have been moments of joy and moments of pain, moments of closeness and moments of distance. But through it all, one thing remains constant, the deep bond that you share with them. It's a bond that has been tested by time and circumstances, but it continues to endure. It's a bond that is unique, powerful, and irreplaceable. And it's a bond that will continue to shape both your lives in ways you can't even begin to imagine. If I could turn back time, if I could find a way, I would take back those words that have caused you pain. It's a regret that weighs heavily on my heart, a burden I carry with me every day. You, who opened me up, brought me to life, showed me a world beyond my own, are the one I've hurt the most. I resisted change, clung to my old ways because there were things I had to release, things that were part of me, and letting go was not an easy task. I was so fixated on my 3D life, so engrossed in my own world that I missed the one I needed the most, you, my love. I was so wrapped up in my own existence that I failed to see the love you were offering me. I know now that I didn't give you the time and love you truly deserved. I let my logic rule my heart, let my ego overshadow my emotions. I was so much into my ego that I didn't understand and value the love you were giving me unconditionally. You are my emotional fulfillment, the one who completes me. Your presence is something I cannot compare with anyone or anything. It's unique, it's special, it's something that's solely yours. You have no idea how much I am hurting without you. The pain is unbearable, the void you've left is too big to fill. I miss you every day, every moment. To be honest, you were a warm, safe blanket that I felt I didn't deserve. You were my comfort, my solace, my sanctuary. 
But I felt unworthy of your love, felt that I didn't deserve someone as wonderful as you. That's why I intentionally kept pushing you away, hoping that you would start hating me. I thought that by doing so, I would be able to protect you from the mess that is me. But I regret doing all that because I miss you so much. Now, I'm left with nothing but regret and longing. I wish I could turn back time, wish I could find a way to make things right. But I know that it's too late, that I've caused too much damage. All I can do now is hope that you're happy, that you've found the love you deserve. And as for me, I'll continue to live with the pain, the regret, knowing that I've lost the one person who mattered the most to me. I miss you, my love, and I'll always regret the words that hurt you. Your partner is currently immersed in a profound state of introspection, reflecting on the past, the present, and the potential future. They are grappling with a whirlwind of emotions, primarily dominated by a deep sense of sadness and regret. The cause of this emotional turmoil is the realization that they failed to give the due importance to the relationship they shared with you. They are now confronted with the harsh reality of what they had in their grasp and what they've lost. The absence of your presence in their life has served as a stark and painful reminder of their actions. It has forced them to confront the consequences of their decisions and the love they've lost in the process. They had the opportunity to experience true love in their life, a feeling so profound and life-altering that it's often described as a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Yet, they took it for granted, not realizing the depth and significance of what they had until it was too late. Now, they're coming to terms with a harsh truth, your love, care, and presence in their life are irreplaceable. They are beginning to understand that no amount of material achievement can compensate for the loss of a genuine, loving relationship. This realization is causing them immense distress, as they grapple with the void left by your absence. In contrast to their emotional turmoil, your energy at this time radiates calmness and relaxation. Whether you're consciously aware of it or not, the personal work you've undertaken on your journey of self-improvement has had a profound impact. It has transformed your aura, making it vibrant and appealing. This transformation hasn't gone unnoticed by your partner. They can see the changes in you, the growth, and the evolution that has taken place in your life. You've also established healthy boundaries, a crucial aspect of any relationship. These boundaries serve as a protective barrier, safeguarding your emotional well-being. Your partner understands that they need to approach you with clear intentions if they wish to reconcile. They realize that any attempt to rekindle the relationship without a genuine intention will not be entertained. The ball is now in their court. They're left to ponder their next move, to decide whether they're ready to approach you with sincerity and a clear intention. This period of contemplation is a crucial one for them, as it will determine the course of their relationship with you. As they navigate through this emotional labyrinth, they're beginning to understand the gravity of their actions and the repercussions they've had on their relationship with you. Your partner is in a state of deep reflection, grappling with feelings of regret and loss. They're beginning to understand the value of what they've lost and the irreplaceability of your love and presence. Meanwhile, you've undergone a transformation, establishing healthy boundaries and radiating a vibrant aura. The future of the relationship now hinges on their next move, and whether they approach you with clear intentions. For a long time, I've been grappling with finding the right words to express my feelings to you. It's been an uphill battle, a struggle that has consumed me day and night. The realization that I've caused you such deep pain is a bitter pill to swallow. It's a harsh truth that I've been trying to come to terms with, but acceptance seems to elude me. The irony of the situation is not lost on me. I, who have always been your protector, your shield against the world, have turned out to be the one who has hurt you the most. It's a paradox that I find hard to comprehend. When others have caused you pain, I've been filled with a rage so intense that it scared me. I've wanted to shield you from all the hurt, all the pain that the world could inflict. But what do I do when the person causing you the most pain is me? I want to take this moment to apologize to you. I'm truly, 
deeply sorry for making you cry. The image of your tear-streaked face haunts me, filling me with a remorse so profound that it's hard to put into words. I wish I could turn back time, undo my mistakes. I wish I could hold you in my arms right now, wipe away your tears, and comfort you. But wishes, as they say, are not horses. You might think that I don't miss you or care about you. You might think that I've moved on, that I've forgotten about you. But let me assure you, that's far from the truth. Every day, every moment, I yearn for you. I miss the sound of your voice, the ring of your laughter. I miss your calls and your text messages. I miss the way you used to light up my world. When I think of you, a myriad of emotions flood over me. It's a mix of happiness and sadness, a cocktail of feelings that's hard to explain. The memories of the beautiful times we shared, the moments of joy and laughter, they bring a smile to my face. They remind me of a time when things were simpler, happier. But at the same time, these memories fill me with a sadness so profound that it's hard to bear. The distance between us, both physical and emotional, is a constant reminder of what we've lost. It's a reminder of the chasm that now separates us, a chasm that I fear might be too wide to bridge. But despite everything, I hold on to the hope that one day, things will be different. One day, we might find our way back to each other. Until then, all I can do is hope and wait.